I'd like to start this video by apologizing. Uh, this entire time, I had TM Earthquake sitting in my pocket and I never taught it to Pinzer. I was so focused on making the video that I didn't realize that I've been clicking dig this whole time. So it only really mattered against Arbok, but still. Yeah, I gotta keep my... <laughs> I gotta keep my eyes more open than that. But anyways, we got Earthquake now. Travel far and wide across the globe Catching and evolving as we go Taking on the indigo plateau With a shining smile With Giovanni and Lance and the Elite Four behind us We have one obstacle left Blaze <laughs> Hey Kaelin I was looking forward to seeing you. My rival should be strong to keep me sharp. While working on my Pokedex, I looked all over for Pokemon. Not only that, I assembled teams that would beat any Pokemon type, especially Bug. And now, I'm the Pokemon League champion. Kalen, do you know what that means? Puny little bug catcher? I'll tell you. I'm the most powerful trader in the world. the most intense epic song in the entire game and I almost want to just not say anything because it's so good so I'm leading with uh, butter babe because if I went straight into pinzer I would be open so I just want to put it to sleep and then switch I am kind of surprised that I'm slower uh, eight levels underneath him with a plus speed nature but I'm still slower okay this is my first try, by the way. I don't expect to beat him on my first try, but I beat the Elite Four all on my first try. So, the main reason I didn't want to start with Pinzer was because um, Pidgeot's got Feather Dance. So, one Feather Dance is going to take away two turns of me setting up Bulk Up, so I just want to use it once, and I don't want to test my luck. Oh god, I missed. Here we go. Okay, good. I have one more chance. So there's another reason to be extra cautious. I think... Oh yeah, I should be able to take him out. There's not really a level difference here. Oop. I'm wrong. Well, so he's clearly going to heal. Ooh, I should have used the PP up. I hope that doesn't matter. Fuck, if somebody has no PP and that ends up being the reason why I lose, then that's my bad. Because I also didn't even teach him Earthquake until now. I'm glad I didn't forget the whole time, but... Okay, so now we can take him out in one. Um, I hope he doesn't use Feather Dance. Okay, so, um... I'm faster. I keep forgetting Pinzer's faster than Butterfree. That's just so weird to me. I guess he has... I don't know why. He's like a fighting type. He's not even a bug. He's a monster. He's a fucking fighting type pretending to be a big bug. Okay, so yeah, I would be silly to switch. I used two bulk ups, so maybe I can survive one of- Yeah, I can survive one of his powerful rock moves if he doesn't crit. I don't think I can kill him in one hit. Oh wow, I just did. Yep. Okay, looks like uh, it's just gonna be a pinzer sweep, isn't it? We're at level 58. His weakest guy, I think, is Alakazam, and it's like 57 or 58. So my strongest Pokemon are at the same level as his weakest Pokemon. So, oh yeah, so here's where I start losing, because he's going to beat me with one flamethrower. Um, since I don't want to rely on revives, I'm honestly really thinking about just switching. Because what the hell is Paraset going to do in this battle that anyone else couldn't do? Right? So, this really, really sucks, but I have to do this. I'm really sorry, Crush Room. We're playing on set, so I need a safe switch in. And I need Pinsir alive. Uh, yeah, so Rain Dance. Let's see the level gap. Ooh. Seven levels weaker. I think I'm okay. Uh, let's go for it. Yeah, okay. I was shitting my pants there. Okay. 
So he's gonna go for Fire Blast and miss. Yes. So now if he was smart, he would go for two wing attacks because either way it's gonna take two hits to kill me now. Um, if he does go for wing attack, let's. I'm I'm completely useless without Swords Dance. So even if I only get one Aerial Ace that does times two, it's better than using it twice because. Well, unless I'm burned. Oh my god. Oh yeah, so good thing he didn't burn me there. Yeah, um... So I don't know if I can take him... Actually, if I hit him with one rock slide, it would have been over. So I guess it didn't matter that much what happens with Scyther versus Charizard. It's too bad we can't turn that into an epic uh, Orange Islands rivalry, because... You know, the Tracy's Scyther and Ash's Charizard didn't like each other. Okay, yeah. So as long as I don't miss, I can tank a wing attack and I can take a fire blast. And hopefully I don't miss. Rock Slide, by the way, has 90 accuracy. I think earlier I said 80, but it's 90. It's better than Thunder. Oh my god! Oh, don't burn. Okay, okay. He could have crit or burned me and I could have missed. So there is a pretty good chance there that I was gonna die. This kind of looks easy because I'm getting lucky. Um, or maybe it's easier than I think because I'm just trying to read the numbers. Yeah, well, uh, it looks like I'm gonna beat Rival Blaze on my first try and it looks like I'm, uh... I don't want to heal because... Let me think, half his team's gone. He's got Alakazam, Executor, and and Gyarados left, right? Yeah, this is fucking easy. So if he was smart, then he'd attack me. No, he's gonna heal, okay. Oh, I guess he's gonna let Future Sight kill me. See, if I was smart, I would either switch or heal, but Pinzer took out Pidgeot, Charizard, Rhydon, and now I'm gonna get Alakazam to red health before I die from the Future Sight. And then my next guy can just kill him. Um, I think Alakazam can outspeed Beedrill and Venomoth, which are poison types, so I don't want to send them out. So I guess this is up to Butterfree. But it's good. My two monsters are done, right? So I have these three weaklings. Not to insult them, but I wanted to, like... I want to punch up. Like, I don't want to just have Pinzer walk in and throw rocks at everyone. Although that's fun, too. So I think I can take one Psychic. If not, I'm going to be eating my own words and using a Revive. Or just losing. I'd probably just lose out of stubbornness. We're playing on Switch, on Set, and not Switch. It's not actually called Switch, it's called Swap, I think. But I just don't ever play on Swap, so fuck it. And uh, yeah. I think if I have to use a re oh good, I'm, well I'm obviously faster. So Silverwind does times four, because he's Psychic and Grass, and look how little that did. Wow, that does times four. I guess I'll put him to sleep, I mean, it's gonna take two more. See, this is uh, why Butterfree can't use any physical moves, because this is Stab times four, and I can't even two-hit kill him. If Beedrill or Scyther had Silverwind, oh, he'd be... He'd be six feet under by now. Oh no. Speaking of my only good bug move across all six Pokemon, Twin Needle, it's not even that good, and my attack's not even that good, but this is the best I can do. So he's gonna use Full Restore number three. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna beat Blaze on my first try. Uh, he's healed up three times. I feel like even if I use one revive, I'm, I don't have any guilt. Looks like I beat him on my first try. I was ready to record two or three attempts. Like, I don't mind losing and retrying, but... I don't like how uh, it's so easy that I'm, like, hardly even sweating here. Oh, well. Maybe I'll be eating my own words. Is Gyarados gonna, like, start sweeping my team? That'd be funny. So my attack went down, and either way, I can't do fuck all to this guy. I can try to paralyze him, 
double edge would be pointless. I'm not doing any damage. Okay, I paralyzed him instantly. Maybe I should have gone for the poison. Wait, Dragon Rage? Come on. Dragon Rage? I'll do better at damaging myself than that. Okay, not better, but you know what I mean. Come on. That's better. Here we go. I guess he didn't want to go straight for Thrash. So it looks like we have one Pokemon on each side. And you know what? I probably should have poisoned him because um, I don't think I can do it in two Psychics. And I think he can kill me in two hits. Oh my god, it's going to take like 12. Can I lower special defense? Maybe if he uses... Um... Okay, good. I lowered his special defense. Am I going to die in one hit? Oh, maybe I will lose. Okay, so here we go. Um, I guess I should heal. Okay, so Venomoth is not going to be able to take out Gyarados very easily. Or not, not a revive. So, I'll try not to use a revive, but if it comes down to it... See? Okay, so he's healed three times. I'm not sure if there's a, a certain number. If he can heal a fourth time or not, but here we go. We're gonna find out. Oh, good. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, here we go. So he used Thrash. Even if he can heal a fourth time, he can't. Because he's locked into Thrash. Get fucked. I don't think he was gonna heal, but boom. Rival Blaze taken out in 11 minutes. No casualties. Holy fuck. And Venomoth was the last one standing. No! It can't be! You beat me at my best! After all that work to become the league champ, my reign is over already! It's not fair! It's because you didn't use any uh, bug types, my dude. Your team sucked. You would rather use an Executor than any bug? I'd rather use Executor than, than Parasect, but... Foolish! Why? Why did I lose? I never made any mistakes raising my Pokémon! Yes, you did. Darn it! You're the new Pokémon League champion! Uh, although I don't like to admit it, I also kind of have a crush on you, Senpai- Uh, <clears throat> Kaelin! Kaelin! So, you've won! Sincerely, congratulations! You're the new Pokémon League champ! The representative of the Kanto region! Indigo League champion! Bug type user. What is this black and white? You've grown up much since you first left with salad. Yeah, no, I didn't choose Bulbasaur. I got I got salad, and then I attracted a wild Caterpie, remember? So, Caterpie's my starter. You have come of age. Blaze, I'm disappointed in you. I came when I heard you beat the Elite Four. But then when I got here you'd already lost. What a letdown. You understand why you lost, don't you? You've forgotten to treat your Pokémon with love and trust. Without them, you'll never become champion again. I don't know what voice I'm trying to do now. Kaelin, you understand that your victory was not just your own doing. The bond you share with your bugs is marvelous, the way you catch them and evolve them right away. Come with me, my fucker. Let's go. Oh my god, my reflection is a different color. I... I completely forgot that we were gonna get to this point and I was gonna see my reflection, no matter what. Pokemon League champions are honored for their exploits here. Their Pokemon are all recorded in the Hall of Fame. All one of them. Cause there's literally, we don't know a single thing about who was champion before Blue. I always thought Blue was the first official champion of Kanto and then it went Blue, Red, and Lance kind of fills in. So I don't know any other ones. You and your Pokemon are all Hall of Famers. I came when I heard. So, Blue's guys get bumped down to the Hall of Shame, right? Oh, I hope I organized them in a... Okay. Butter Babe! Easy peasy. Crush Room. Dusty Dan! <laughs> Decapitator and Eviscerator. I'm sorry for shitting on Parasect. If you're he, his design's cool, I like the zombie. His type is absolutely garbage, and he can't survive any battle. But I still, I still like him. Oh, and it looks like I was four minutes over 25 hours. 
What an adventure. So, I think I'm just gonna probably just keep the credits in and then talk over them. That, I'm surprised how fucking easy that took. I did uh, one try on each of the five members in there and I'm surprised. I, surprised. I thought I would take at least two or three tries to beat Blue, but Blaze. But there we go. I think I over leveled a little bit when I when I walked in to fight Lorelai. I had level fifth. I had four at like 51, 52, and then my mistake was putting Pinter and Scyther up to 55, 56. I think if they were at 52 then that would have been a legit challenge. I would have needed to fight Lance and Blue, and I think Lorelai was probably the third strongest. It's either her or Agatha, it just depends what my team is. Bruno's usually just easy. Um, so yeah, I think if I didn't... I was like five levels too high for that to be a challenge. And yeah, so the, the age-old question, can you beat a Pokemon game with bugs? Can a bug catcher start in the forest and end up as the champion? Yes, obviously, it's an RPG with numbers, so you could find a way. Can you do it with underleveled bugs? I'm sure you could. I wouldn't consider that an underleveled run. I was probably the right level right there. I, sh I grinded against wild Pokemon and I shouldn't have. So the answer is... If you're playing Fire Red and you can't trade, you would have a much, much harder time because you don't have Pinsir or Rock Slide. If you were playing Red, Blue, and Yellow, you wouldn't have Rock Slide at all, and you'd probably have a way harder time. So in those instances, I think you would need the team I have, level 55s, right? But in this scenario, if you're playing Leaf Green, or if you trade over Pinsir from Leaf Green, Pinzer without Rock Slide makes it way better. It's almost like Pinzer's not even a bug type. Like Scyther, really fast, really high attack. Really, I only have one good move, Aerial Ace. And if I don't use Rain Dance and Swords Dance, if I don't dance my heart out, then I just am simply not strong enough. Scyther, Stats, and Pinzer are in between closer to a third form starter than a second, but not even as strong as the weakest starter you can think of. Um, like, I don't know, Meganium or so. I don't know. I don't want to shit on anyone's favorite, but weaker than any starter you've ever used. And if Pinzer doesn't even have Rock Slide, then yeah, you could beat the whole game. It'd be a little bit harder, but Rock Slide. The only reason I gave my rival because I get to choose who my rival has, obviously, and I wanted him to have Charizard. If he had Venusaur, this would be even more of a joke. If he had Arcanine instead of Charizard. And then if he had Blastoise instead of Gyarados, then he would have... Oh, that would be like middle of the road challenge, I think, because then I might... I don't think I would use Sunny Day to lower Blastoise's water moves. I would just try to beat him. And I wouldn't have any electric or... I would have weak grass moves, so... What I did was I gave my rival a Charizard, so I had to beat a Charizard four times to beat this game. Because I knew I would have Pinzer with Rock Slide. So, if I didn't use Rock Slide, or if I gave my rival Blastoise, or if I didn't use Leaf Green or trade a Pinzer over from it, then that would have been a challenge. But the way I did it, I gave him a Charizard. I set it up so I could kill him with Rock Slide. If I didn't do, and I overleveled them five levels. So if I didn't do all that, you know. And if I wanted a real challenge, I would be playing a Nuzlocke right now, not a bug type run. So anyways, there you have it. I hope uh, everyone enjoyed. I had a hell of a fun time playing this and I will continue to make episodes. In the next episode, we are gonna do Islands 1, 2, and 3. And then in the episode after that, we'll finish all the way up to the seventh island. I want to do all seven islands in two episodes. I think the whole post game will be about two episodes. And we have a legendary run. I don't know if I'm going to catch all the legendaries in one video. Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres, Mewtwo, Lugia, Ho-Oh, and Deoxys. I will be doing those events. I've never done them once in my whole life. 
I have emulators, but I've never actually typed in that code. I've done every Gen 4 event, but I've never touched the Gen 3 ones. So I've seen them on YouTube. I know what they look like, but this will be my first time fighting a Deoxys and hearing the Deoxys theme and going to the Triangle Island and all that shit. After I do the Sevi Islands, I'll level up my team, maybe five more levels, and then we'll do the Elite Four rematch. And maybe, yeah, so maybe when I rematch Blue, it'll be way harder. Um, and off screen, obviously, I'm going to get my Pokédex up to 60. So in order to go past Island 3, my Pokédex needs to be at 60. Right now it's at 15. So I have like, I could do it all in less than an hour off screen, but I have a little bit of work to do. So, uh, oh, and by the way, we aren't supposed to be here. Yeah, so let's say Professor Oak drove me home or whatever. Anyways, I should... I never actually picked a house. I've always said, oh, I live in Viridian City, Viridian City. Well, I don't live in there. That's the trainer school or that. Uh, yeah, that's the trainer school. That's where the old man lives. I never actually noticed there was two houses in this entire town, but let's say I fucking live here. Yeah, actually, I already said I lived here. I'm like, I'm the gym leader. This is my new house and business. So I'm the I'm the champion of Kanto, but I'm also the eighth gym leader, too. So anyways, I will be going home to where I live because I don't live in Red's house with his mom. And I will see you guys on the next episodes where we will be going to the Sevi Islands and even beyond. There's at least nine islands, including the events. And I will see you motherfuckers next time. Have an amazing, awesome, epic day.